These are the GYTR OEM front A-arm guard and what I really like about them is they give you adequate protection but they're not overkill. They're not big honking mud scoops. They're low profile. And they have enough material to protect your boots. Adequate protection underneath. They don't have a high wall here like others have and I, I feel it's unnecessary. It has just enough protection to cover your A-arms, but it's not overkill. And I really like the GYTR accessories. Installing the Yamaha front A-arm guards, you're gonna need a eight millimeter and 10 millimeter combo wrench. You wanna have two of each to make this easy because sockets aren't gonna really help in this, except for maybe removing this guard. You're gonna work the wheel back and forth. You want the wheel turned to the outside when you're working on the front part and corresponding when you, when you get to the back of the hardware on the back of the a-arm you want to have the wheel pointed inwards that way you have a uh, room back there you want to have a magnetic pickup tool a uh, size 4 air allen wrench and a 10 millimeter socket so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um remove the original guard just two 10 millimeter bolts and set those aside because we're not going to reuse that hardware just going to wipe down the dirty surfaces okay so you have this um inner bracket and this is the right hand side. I'm working on the passenger side. Please use the flange nut. Now when you're installing this, it goes on top. I recommend putting the nut through first and then laying it in there and the hole is provided. There's, this is a no drill install. And then all your your nuts, just to show you that, how that looks. So I have two nuts here that just lay them in, and the bolts are on the bottom side. Next, we're gonna install this piece, this bracket here, and that's gonna use that existing hole. Go right there like that. And once again, this is just a loose, install these brackets you'll do a final tightening and this uh this bolt goes down through it's probably one of the hardest ones to do actually let me get my 10 millimeter here my eight millimeter rather. And you're gonna do that a lot. Cussing's optional. So place a nut up against the hole and then screw it in. Okay. So Next, your guard goes on. And I've already, uh, you have longer bolts and you have shorter bolts. The shorter bolts are gonna go here. So I'm gonna get the front. Now I'm going to work my way to the back and install these back two screws and the reason being is 
you have to kind of compress the plastic and trying to do it from the from the back is hard you get the back bolts in first pushing the front plastic pushing the plastic in from the front a lot easier i'm gonna turn my wheel you're stalling the bolts that secure the plastic on or you have your bolt your washer and then your nut goes on the back side of the plastic Okay. Okay. That went pretty well. So now, turn my wheel back. I'm going to get those front inner bolts. Hope you guys are warmed up like we are. When I say warm, it's 46 degrees. We just had a hell freeze over. Minus 20 degrees here. But um, more to the point, you can do this uh, in your heated garage. Or when it's warmer, these guards will be a little bit more flexible. So I've got all the uh, side bolts loosely installed. There's two bolts here that come up on the bottom. Okay, so the last two bolts I'm going to loosely install. Those are my donkeys fighting over hay. So this, this side goes together pretty well. On the other side, I take my Allen wrench, stick it through one side to get it aligned. And with this side, I'm not having to do that. So. Okay, that went pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tighten these eight bolts that hold the sides on. Then I'm gonna tighten the center bolts here. As a final step, I'm gonna tighten the bracket bolts. So I've turned my wheel for clearance. No nuts behind there, those are uh,
do the side ones. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna tighten down my brackets. Easiest way to have found to get this bolt is turn the wheel to the uh, end, come out at this angle. Of course, if you have a power ratchet, it makes it easy. So the easiest way to get to this bolt right here is take your one wrench, come in from the bottom, And then you can tighten that. So this front bolt coming from the bottom. Get my wrench in there. And using I'm using a channel to hold it. That's it.